Grace and peace to you from God the Father and Yeshua HaMashiach. Blessed are the poor in spirit. What did Yeshua mean by this? What did Jesus mean when he said, Blessed are the poor in spirit? There are two words in the original Greek manuscripts that are both translated poor in the English language. Tohas and Penachas. Penachas means someone who is poor, but yet they are still able to get what they need. In other words, say someone um, maybe lost their job, but they're still able to work for a living. They're still able to go find another job if they really want to. This is Penachas. Tohas is someone who is poor and they are unable, completely unable, to get what they need. Take, for example, someone who is completely handicapped. They can't, they can't work for a living. They, they rely like 100% on someone else to support them or, or a group or an organization to support them. That is what tohas means. Once more, penachras means someone who is poor. Someone who needs help, but yet they are able to get the help that they need for themselves. They're able to do it themselves. Whereas, tohas means those who are in need, very needy, and they're not able to do it for themselves. They are completely disabled, completely unable to get what they need. They need someone else or something else, and another group, organization, identity, or a person to do it for them. And if they didn't get it, they would die. That's what tohas means. When Jesus said, blessed are the poor in spirit, he said, blessed are the tohas in spirit. In other words, he said, blessed are you that are needy, so needy that you can't help yourself. You cannot get what you need yourself. He didn't say, blessed are the Penachas in spirit, which means you're needy, but yet you can you can support yourself. You, you have the ability to somehow uh, work or do whatever needs to be done to support yourself and to meet those needs that you have. That's not what Jesus said. He said, blessed are the Tohas in spirit, which means those of you who are poor in spirit, so poor that you realize that you need, absolutely need someone else to, to help you, to support you, or else you would die. If you are in that much need, and you are relying on an external source that much in, this, in spirit, you are blessed. You are happy. Okay? That seems to be... Uh, you know, an oxymoron here, but the whole list of Beatitudes, blessed are the poor in spirit, you know, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for you shall be filled. So all of these Beatitudes are, are almost like, they're almost like oxymorons, but they're not. Because once you lock into God, once you lock into that source, when you in and of yourself are poor in spirit, you realize that you need spirit. You need life from someone else. And so you, you completely depend upon God for your salvation. You completely depend upon God to, to raise you up. You humble yourself under his mighty hand. And that is what Yeshua was talking about. That is what he meant by blessed are the poor in spirit. Those who are rich in spirit are proud. They're rich in spirit. They're rich in life. They got all that they need in and of themselves, or they, at least they think they do. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The poor in spirit are those who are very humble. Bottom, bottom line, uh, bottom of the barrel, so to speak, humble, where you realize, I absolutely need another person person. I need help here. I cannot do it on my own or else I will die. Plain and simple. Die spiritually, die physically, whatever the case may be. 
This is what being poor in spirit is. It's being humble, realizing that you need something, and then being so incapable and realizing that you're so incapable and so unable to get that which you need to to sat to support yourself. What that's what it really means is it means those who are so poor in spirit, they are so humble. They realize that they cannot do anything on their they cannot if it's not if it wasn't for God they would die they depend upon him so much they throw himself they throw themselves at his mercy they depend upon him to sustain them to to give them salvation to give them life to save them from the judgment to come they they throw themselves at his mercy and they ask him to give them what they need and that is life spiritual life that is why yeshua that is why jesus said blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven thanks for watching Shalom.